back to my channel. My name is Delilah if you're new here and today I thought that we would go a little bit behind the scenes and go ahead and create a song from scratch. Now when I say scratch, I don't mean like scratch scratch. I would be picking a beat and then I would be writing lyrics and then I would be putting it all together and recording it for you guys. And then my plan was by the end, the song that we have created together or not really together, I guess you would be watching me, see how you guys like it. And if you guys want it on SoundCloud, just let me know and it'll be up there. So I thought that we would start with the beat first. So we would go to YouTube. I would also like to apologize in advance of all of the background noise that's happening. I don't know what the hell they're doing out there, but they're sawing and they're just messing everything up, okay? The way that I would do this, first I would go ahead and find a type beat that a producer has already made and put up on YouTube. If I do like it off the bat, I probably will choose it. I'll skip through the song, see what the progressions are. I'm gonna go ahead and go through my beats and pick one out that I have already liked. Ping up cooking. So I went ahead and chose my beat. It has a little bit of Janae Eco, her Beyonce kind of 90s kind of R&B beat. So we're gonna go with that. Beat up the producer is amazing. I love his beats. I have used them before. I hate that. I'm so sorry about the background noise. What I like to do is listen to it and then kind of put lyrics in there or like some kind of melody that I already like that I can see myself like harmonizing to or anything like that and putting lyrics in there as I'm writing. If I can't think of a title just yet or if I can't think of a main point of the whole song, then I would just keep writing and see how that melody makes me feel come up with the title and just make up the song <laughs> So what I like to do is then open up my notes, write the top, um, which is the name of the song, which is called Infinity. I would italicize it so that I know that that is not my name. Typically, I would write the actual name right above it in non-italicized font. <laughs> so just so I know which beat I'm using, I like to put the name of the beat because they all name their beats for that reason to make it easier to decipher. I like to skip the beginning where there's no lyrics starting just yet. And I like to listen to where I would like to start my entire song. It's usually when the bass drops. So that one happens at 15 seconds. So what I would do is just put in, start my song at 15 seconds so that when I'm singing, it kind of keeps me on time and reminds me of what was my original vision. What did I originally want to do when I was listening to the song? We start at 15 seconds. So now we don't have to listen to the song over and over again from the beginning. We could skip the first 15 seconds or at least a, a little bit right before that and then um, go in from there. Okay, so I'm feeling kind of a vibe. Something along the lines of like, they don't know you like I do. So that would be basically the main point of the song, right? It's more of a love song, but it's about a girl who's, by the way, this may be all jumpy all over the place. Hopefully while I'm editing, I'm gonna be able to like kind of put it together properly, which I will be, cause that's my job. I kind of throw my thoughts out there, try to see if it'll work, try to see if I make a song out of it. And if I can't, then I just switch up the entire thing and just kind of maybe play around. From now, we're gonna start writing lyrics, right? So once again, we go back. Okay, so that sounds like the first line. I don't have <laughs> way and babe kind of rhyme, so I'm gonna try to base it on that. Hey, you know, she will make you feel this way, babe. You know, she will make you feel this way. So there is the first line, guys. We did the first line. And that's like the whole song right there. Basically, I guess a thesis statement. You can think of writing a song like an essay or like a story with the climax and all those things. Progression generally should be happening through a song. It should not be continuously the same way. Mind you, I don't songwrite as a job. I don't really know the vocabulary for it. I definitely do need to do more research on that. But so far, I have been making my songs the way, just, just, just the way that I know songs to be and the way that I find my creative process. 
Sometimes I put in a chorus once, sometimes I, I repeat a chorus four times, sometimes, well, I haven't done that yet. Sometimes I don't have anything repeat at all. I have a chorus, but it doesn't repeat, or maybe I just don't even have a chorus. I don't really care. At the end of the day, people still like to listen to it, and I like what I hear back, you know what I mean? You shouldn't be within a box. You should be thinking freely, and I'll explain how I would progress my song as we're working through it. Hey, you know she will make you feel this so I'm thinking of rhyming okay with the way. She might make you feel just okay. So let's see if that works together. I like to give myself a few seconds. Hey, you know she will make you feel this way. She might make you feel just okay. I don't wanna drag the okay. I kinda just wanna be like, okay. Like she just makes you feel okay. Like she doesn't make you feel my way, like the way I make you feel like a god. She makes you feel just okay. Like you're, you're, you're normal, you know, like you're mediocre. Now I'm thinking of games, right? Way okay games. You will find out that we all play games. I'm gonna go ahead and go into rhyme zone. I love rhyme zone. Anytime that I am, I can't properly function, rhyme zone brings it in. So let's see, games, right? Pain, okay, so I'm thinking pain. Pain away, ooh, away is cool too. So sometimes when my words are pretty much similar to another word of the verse, what I like to do is put in the word, but still make another word in a sentence rhyme it. Babe, you know she won't make you feel this way. She might make you feel just okay. You will find out that we all play games. Pain and then away, right? Because pain and away kind of rhymes with the rest of it. And if it doesn't quite rhyme, your singing will make it rhyme or your accent or what have you. It's for show, won't take the pain away. You will find out that we all play games, it's for show. That's that bad. It's for show, won't take the pain away. Now, what I like to do is repeat the way that the verse flows and just double it and just write another set of lyrics. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm faded. So I just wrote the verse and it seems that my last line is a little too long, but we're gonna see if I can make it work because in my head it worked. I'm faded, wanna stop this and trading. You might think that you may have upgraded, but I think that she may have persuaded with her body and her hot sauce. She don't want to walk her walk, why do you make it so complicated? Why did you think that I... Let's see. That I possibly have waited. It just makes it flow better. All our issues, they're all unrelated. You don't walk the walk I walk Why do you make it so complicated? Why did you think that I'd possibly wait it? All our issues, they're all just deleted Please just listen to what that I say Okay, so you see how the third line did not flow all our issues, they're all so un- So, so let's, if I add an extra word Okay, so all our issues, they're all unrelated so instead of leaving that big pause or dragging unrelated maybe longer i ended up adding so i'm also going to number each verse just because we are filming this video and it would be just um easier to jump through i definitely want my songs to be as grammatically correct as possible i also do still use slang because you know we are writing r&b so so i can write i can do slang like this is not an essay this is not an english essay you know it doesn't have to be perfect but i feel like, if my sentence doesn't make sense, then other people wouldn't be able to remember it like it would have made sense. They'd, they'd be like, they'd say it to themselves and be like, that line don't make sense, you know? Like, I do that sometimes with some artists, and Jesus Christ, guys, we need to get it together. Okay, so the new line starts at minute. So here, I feel like it's going to change. So I'm not going to continue writing the verses. I'm going to go ahead and see what the producer has you know, provided me with to work with. Because it's not going to continue the same. Most likely this is where the chorus would start or the hook. I don't know guys, like I definitely need to work on my vocabulary. I'm not here as a teacher, like I know what I'm doing. I'm more of like, 
this is my creative process. If you would like to watch, please stay tuned. You know what I mean? And also I thought it was fun if we would put make a song together like this and then post it. So I would say that this would be the chorus right here. I like to label them. So this I would say would be the pre-chorus. Chorus is basically the main part of the song. The chorus, what do you want to say to your audience? What is the main idea of the whole song, right? You progress all the way up to the chorus. You've done that part. So now what you gotta do is be like, what is the main idea of my song? She will make you feel this way. She might make you feel okay. You'll find out we all play games. So when I said that, I meant more of like, you know, girls play games, like it is just what it is. Some guys think that their girl is crazy, their girl does things, and then they go in another relationship, and what do you know? The next girl is the same, if not worse. Like for real, this, that, this, that, this, that, and a third, right? Everybody had a problem when they were in a relationship, but then you get out of the relationship and what happens? Your next girl is just as crazy because your tactics don't change, you know what I mean? In this perspective, right? Since I am writing a song, it's kind of like a made up story. She's hoping that she will still get back with him because she's saying she won't make you feel this way. So she's still sulking, like she's sad he's moved on, you know? She's saying you made it complicated. Did you think I would wait? All our issues are unrelated with what's happening. Please just listen to the words that I've stated. I like to like remind the um, audience that they should listen. <laughs> like, I don't know, I do that sometimes. Like in my songs, I should say like, listen or whatever, like in talks, like I did that. So for chorus, I'm thinking a few words because I have already filled up the song with so many words that maybe I should do a little bit less on the chorus. So it's a little bit more catchy as well as more memorable. So you don't have to remember all the little words in the sentence. So I like that because that sounds like na, 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 na. That's literally seven words right there. So this is the hard part. What do we want to say for those seven words? I can't watch you lose your life. You lose your life. She don't wanna. So you see how she don't wanna is obviously not grammatically correct. She doesn't want to would be the right way to write that. But like I said, it's supposed to be catchy and we wanna combine words. I will not put up a fight. I can't So that doesn't sound like the end of the chorus. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue with the chorus. Hmm, I need to pick another word to rhyme at the end of the chorus. Let's see, mind? I did mention games earlier. It would be very helpful if I was to unfold a little bit about that. It's easy to just put in a sentence that just doesn't flow with the rest of the song. It's really easy to do that. So it would be a little bit better if you were to unfold something that might not make sense entirely in the beginning for somebody to be like reading lyrics like that. What the fuck does that mean? I think I might lose mm, my mind thought i was one of a kind when will all my stars align why would you leave me behind okay so let's go ahead back to the chorus and see how that sounds like and after that we're gonna go ahead and start over with the beginning of the song and listen over um, the entire beginning and see how we like that and then from there we're gonna see if we want to copy the rest of the verses with the verses in the beginning the flow or do we want to switch it up now at this point two minutes has passed which is most of the song a title I like upgraded overall since I have mentioned it once so far might go ahead and repeat upgraded later so that it would make more sense as a title <laughs> From here.
here from the two minutes, what I think I'm gonna do is repeat upgraded in another verse right after the chorus and then restart the pre-chorus as well as the chorus. The pre-chorus is going to start at 2.15 again and it would be this exact thing. So here I'm gonna get the chorus but I'm gonna change the time. So. You guys can see i planned one thing and then the producer went ahead and just like trampled my mind he like started rewinding the song so that can we can play that into the song and actually like maybe switch up the chorus switch up the words so that it would be more of reliving her memories by rewinding and you saw how i switched up the last sentence as well because i realized the way i'm singing it does not go with the song right now so i had to switch it up a little bit we'll figure it out completely when we're singing it this is definitely just a writing process. This is the thinking process. And then from there, if anything this still does need tweaking, we're just gonna go ahead and record that over. I can't watch you lose your life. She don't wanna be your wife. I won't watch you lose your wife. She won't wanna be your wife. I'll no longer stand and fight. No way you can make it right.
So there's the whole song. We are missing a verse right in between the chorus and the pre-chorus again, between two minutes and two minutes and 15 seconds. So from there, all we really need is something for 15 seconds, which these are in the beginning. We're just gonna create a verse like that. So that is the final product of the song so far. Now, while I'm recording, I may switch a few things up. Now, I don't think I'm going to be doing this today. I think that I'm going to edit this video and kind of put this video out there and then probably put it up on SoundCloud and then I can put up a video of me recording it for SoundCloud and like what I would be doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was definitely a lot of fun to make. This is our song from scratch once again. I have named the song Upgraded. Now if you guys wanna see more videos like these where I would make songs from scratch, maybe a different genre or something like that, definitely like this video and comment down below if you want to see more. Just because I do have another music channel and I want to stick strictly to music there, but I also want to show you guys my creative process behind the scenes because a lot of you guys actually tell me that I think of my songs fairly quickly and as you see I thought of the songwriting overall and the singing from scratch so this is how fast I can write a song some people may even say that I write the songs too quick and maybe I should take more time into it but I definitely write the songs and then it takes me still time to record and figure it out while I'm recording it I like to do while I'm writing the song since I am recording for you guys I'm not going to do that while I'm writing the verses in order to remember because yeah you may sing this a few times but still forget and I've done that before That's sucks it sucks when you forget a really good flow that you were working on and singing and stuff so I definitely like to pull out my phone and voice record little verses or anything like that just so next time when I do go back to it I'll be like oh I remember I recorded it let me go through it and find the beat I like to play the beat in the background just so it keeps me on track for which song it is but in general I mean the lyrics would match the song so I would figure it out it's really not that hard I don't voice record that many things now that I've said all of that thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't yet checked out my music channel I will link it at the end of the video as well as in the description down below I have have a SoundCloud also I have a Spotify and my song Sunflower my first single it's not only on SoundCloud and YouTube it's also on Spotify Apple Music Amazon Music Google all of it title it should be on title I don't know I don't have a title so I wouldn't be able to check if you guys look up Sunflower for any platforms and you guys do not see it on the platform it should be there so definitely hit me up message me let me know that Sunflower is not on the platform that you want it to be in I want it to be convenient for everyone to listen to and you guys really love Sunflower and I really love it too so it really helps me as well as you guys to have it on more platforms available for you. So definitely check out Sunflower if you haven't already. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so, so much for the support. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've never done this before. Yeah, so I'm a little nervous, but I hope you have a great day. And remember, you're a goddess. Later! <laughs> Balancing all the bittersweet moments When the smiles in your life have been broke Luckily, as I taste your sweet flavor Couldn't choose quite a feeling this